on your ears, Australia's psychic cowgirl, coming at you from Sunday Creek today. We've well, got a magnificent day over here. The sun is out, same as last week. Something special about Thursdays. Well, here in Australia, it's Thursday. I know it's different days all over the world for everybody else, but yeah, Thursdays are a pretty cool day for me. Um, Tony and I connected and shared on our on my page this morning, and we're going to do a weekly catch up which we have been doing for a while but we're actually sharing it with everybody uh, that's on my page and connected with me so yeah if you feel drawn you can always watch it after um, it's been played it will stay up on my page so yeah Thursdays we just chat about everything and anything and what's going on and we just let the universe guide our conversations so we have a lot of fun and we hope to inspire many on this journey the two of us so yeah, we're um, going to be sharing our insights and, you know, sharing our sense of, and perspective on things. We all have a different perspective and I think that's pretty cool. And I think sometimes, you know, um, being inspired by others to just give you that little push along is really great and something we probably don't do enough of when we get busy or we get a little bit disheartened. Um, we've had a couple of weeks energetically where a few of us have been pushed to the extreme in things. So we're having the rug pulled out from under us. We're having, you know, maybe being made redundant from work, um, told we had to move, and especially last minute um, changes. So there's a lot of that that's been going on. And uh, we were chatting about that this morning, and it's very relevant to many people at the moment. I feel like this week things have lifted and there's something transformational around the energy this week. And that's something that I just gleaned um, today, actually. I, I went, wow, there's just been a bit of a shift. And those that are ready to step up, and it's almost like, you know, you've had that dream or you've had that, that yearning to want to do something. I feel this week is a great time to do that. So step it up with your manifesting. Well, I don't mind whether you write it down or you get a picture of what, what your next step is, uh, but just do it, you know. Um, for some people, it's, you know, it can be about career, um, you know, your home life, your family life, for those wanting to fall pregnant or wanting to um, fulfil the dream of a family. There's a lot of really cool alignment happening. So get in there and go, you know what, I'm going to make this happen and I'm going to keep the faith and trust me around that. I, I can't wait to get the feedback because I often do for my shows that those that resonate with this information. So I know if you're listening and connecting the, with this, you this message is for you and yeah, you needed to hear it today. So Unfortunately, I can't access the live feed. So thank you for all that acknowledge me and say hello and, and are welcoming. It's really beautiful. I, I do try and get on um, later on in the day and, uh, you know, just sort of to, if I can respond, I do. Uh, but we really appreciate you following us. Uh, it's really important for, for all of us here on the radio shows to be able to, um, you know, have, have you taking your time out of your day to listen to us. So thank you very much. And it was, I always feel a big sense of gratitude and, you know, not only being able to connect with you via your phone calls, which are fantastic, but also being able to share some insights and hopefully inspire and make a difference to your day or week, wherever you are in the world. We've made some amazing connections on this show. It's been fantastic. And, you know, I've been able to extend even though I'm in little country Victoria, Australia, down on my farm here, I'm able to connect with you all from various places and I love it. I really do. I'm so grateful for the internet and being able to, to connect and this great radio station because, yeah, without it, we wouldn't get that opportunity. So it's pretty cool. So anyway, hopefully you're having a better week this week than the past couple of weeks and Again, know that you are where you need to be. And um, I, I've had this, with all the bit of turmoil happening over the last two weeks, uh, it's given me, how can I put it, my connection to spirits almost stepped up a notch. So I found that really amazing to have come through 
what's been an emotional and testing couple of weeks to be able to come through with a positive. So if I'm getting that, then you guys will be getting that as well. There will be a positive out of, you know, the challenges. So just remember that. Sometimes it can be gr a great insight. And I do feel like we're stepping into our personal power more. We're being shown this uh, through signs from spirit that we are ready to take the next step. So when you're getting those signs, don't doubt it. Just know that it is relative and uh, relevant for you at this point in time. So remembering the balance, we have yin and yang. So we have the, the hard yards and at the end, there'll be, you know, the balance up. So I feel like we're at that point right now. So yeah, I trust you relate to that. All right, I'm going to go on to my first caller, which is Pally in Howell, Michigan. Hi. How are you? Um, good. Can you hear me very well? Yes, I can. I hear you nice and clear. Okay. Um, and you can, hear, you can hear me well? Yeah, I can. Great. What can I do for you today, my dear? You've got some stuff going on. I can sense that just from your voice. <laughs> Yeah, um, I have so many questions that I don't even know where to start. But like one of the main ones is like, I was just wondering if you could hear my friend Melissa, who passed away and if she had anything um, to for me to hear. Yeah, okay. So this is Melissa, a friend of yours. So you two are fairly close, a little bit like sisters I want to go to with her. Um, it's yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Now, I feel like I want to go to, or she's showing me, has it been 12 months since she passed? Because I feel like I'm not, it's not a long, long time ago, but it's not just recent either. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, she passed in, I believe, May. Okay, of this year. Yeah. Okay. All right. Because it feels like she's quite evolved up there. That's why I wanted to say I thought I thought she would have been in spirit longer. Um, there's a spiritual aspect to her, and there's I feel like you two had conversations about um, it's like almost like spirituality and faith is what she's showing me, and it's almost like that's how she connects with you now. Now there was question marks regarding yeah. her passing, or she's she's telling me there's a question around that that maybe you might be unsure of or people were unsure of? Yeah, there's a big, a uh, lot of questions about the passing. Yeah, so it's just she's showing me that. Um, isn't it, Nick? <laughs> she's also showing me you're quite psychic as well. And I feel like there's an aspect of her, she's showing me how sensitive she was to, um, it's almost like in this lifetime she struggled with the reality of the human existence and there was a lot of struggles that she had and it almost felt very overwhelming for her being here yeah she was like she was too it was almost like she was just too um intuitive for this world she was too angelic i think yeah um and, and it's almost like it was i feel like what she's showing me it was a vibrational thing but it's like She's out of pain now. So it's like it's very relevant to say connecting to her in spirit, she's so much happier. And um, it's like, well, I, I often get that message from, from those that have passed it that she's gone home. But I feel like I specifically want to say with her, it is home. Like I feel so much better. I feel relief. Um, she's showing me in regards to her passing, she takes responsibility for it. Um, but it's almost like the questions around it need to be there, not necessarily for you because you intuitively know uh, a lot of the insights you're getting are correct, but I feel like for other family members, they want to be able to interpret her passing in their own way. So that's why it was a little bit, I want to say ambiguous around the passing. Yeah, the her family members wouldn't be able to accept accept the yeah. Truth, I think, honestly. Yeah, yeah, that's um, right. So I feel like. 
Will you tell her that I love her? Yeah, she loves you and she connects with you. And it's like she is one of your angels. Um, what she's shown me, she gives you impressions. So I feel like when you have a, a random thought pop in your head, that's how she connects with you. She's very much in tune and she's showing me you are as well. So she's, she's also wanting me to remind you that it's time for you to step up and do what you want to do, not what everyone else wants you to do. Yeah. Okay. That is something right. I need she's to me that. Yeah, and she's there to help you with that. So know that she will connect with you. There's something around flowers with her too. I don't know whether that was something that the two of you, uh, whether you went outside and connected with flowers. I don't feel like, um, I feel like they're natural native flowers or, you know, like not necessarily a garden full of flowers, but she's showing me a flower is relevant to the two of you. Uh, that's me. I, I, I understand that a lot. Yeah. Um, when she first died, I, all I could picture was like her and her daughter in like a field of flowers. Yeah. So it's like that's, so when you want to connect with her, get out there, you know, like feeling, being connected with the flowers. Cause it's like, that's, that is your connection with her. She wants you to feel free. So it's also, that's part of this message as well. I want to be free. I want to take off the layers that are holding me back. And so a little bit like that initial message when she came through and look for the signs because it's like she's showing me you get the signs but you doubt them and she really wants you to look and and be aware of the signs around you okay All okay right. and there's something about an opportunity what's come along for you somebody's um presenting an opportunity to, to you and i feel like if it's not there right now it's not far away but i do feel like you want to go to it's there it's so it's coming soon. Yeah, Is yeah. It I an feel like when I say job wise. Yeah, yep. It's through okay. what you show me. It's it's through somebody that you know. Um, it's a change because what you what you have been doing is not your big picture, and you need to say yes. So I want to say what she's showing me with that is you might think, oh my god, can I do that? But it's like, yep, you sure can. You're the sort of person you like to keep um, being challenged and having different things to keep you occupied. It's just how you roll. So I feel like this is a new direction for you. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Um, yeah. Yes. Can I possibly so, you know, ask about? Oh, sorry. Um, could I ask about like soon. the? the outcome of my current relationship okay let me see all right so we've had a this is where initially when i connect with you we're having struggles so all right i want to go to now i'm just connecting with what she's showing me in your relationship you've been given the signs but you've overlooked them or you have accepted things that you really doesn't they don't sit right with you so it's time to not accept those things. It's time for you to step up into your personal power and go, you know what? I'm not gonna tolerate what doesn't sit right with me. Okay. Okay. It, it is, this is yeah. about you stepping up, right? So yeah. there, there's a hesitation. I feel I feel like you're, you are taken for granted a bit and I don't mean that in a terrible way, but because you are a bit submissive and you don't really, um, you're very much, you'll, you'll go with the flow with somebody else's truth that sometimes isn't yours. And I feel for you right at this point in time, and that's where this job opportunity is going to give you the confidence to go, you know what, I'm not going to tolerate what doesn't sit with me. And I deserve to be treated really well and really well respected. And that's what I'm settling for. But yeah, I, I I get um walked over a lot, I think. Um is my daughter going to be okay and live a happy life? Yeah, your daughter's your daughter's a bit like you. She's got that 
that um, I almost want to say, and like, of course, I can't see you, so I don't know what you look like, but there's something childlike around you and she's a little bit the same and it's a real, it's a gift that you have to, um, how can you put it, you bring out, you bring out the greatness in people and you have that innocence. So that's part of your personality and it's a beautiful part and it's something that she has as well. So she's very much like you and I want to say, that Melissa in spirit is laughing, going, thank God she's like you. So I don't know what her dad's like, but it's like, thank God she's got you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So no, she's not about that. Be, re be really, yeah, be really proud of that. She has uh, a lot of gifts, your daughter. She is very, very different in the way that um, she processes things. So it's kind of like she will, you know, she might tend to struggle a bit at school and places where you have to conform, but don't worry about it because she's here to do what she needs to do. And it's like, she'll, she'll do well. And she's actually quite adaptive. So, and she's got the psychic sensitive side as well. So if you can help her by you stepping up and, you know, really owning yourself, you will be the guiding light for her. Yeah. She's very cute, I have to say. Huh. Big eyes. Yeah. Yeah, she does have big eyes. <laughs> yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, trust that you're on the right path and remembering to keep your affirmations. You are, you are perfect as you are. You deserve to be happy. And focus on that with this job opportunity the opportunity will be will be great you'll look at it and go it's a perfect fit for you oh my god that makes me so happy thank you so much my pleasure um, please keep me posted i'm on um facebook australia psychic cowgirl i've got to go on to my next caller but yeah. you're welcome to shoot me a message okay thank you oh, my pleasure fine. thank you so much bye Okay, I'm on to Shannon in Saffron, New York. Shannon, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I actually really like um, connecting with your name because names are really, really something that I connect with. But for you, I've got a really strong lady here. <laughs> oh, you have a strong lady coming through? Yeah. Yep. And it's almost like a representation of you, I want to say. Red hair? Oh, red hair like me. Um, she wasn't showing me her physical form, but I will elaborate a bit more on her. I want to say she's a powerhouse. And there's something around you with what you're doing at the moment. We're taking a new direction. And it's like you're standing in your power, a bit like the last caller was. But for you, you're very powerful and it's like people pick that up on you, but you might not believe it as much yourself. But if you were to ask people around you, they would go, yep, she's tough. Now this lady coming through, it's like, she wants me to push you. <laughs> it's like, I'm going, come on, I want to time to, to step into this. Like you're hiding, no more hiding. I've actually been trying to like, open my gifts and stuff and it's I'm having a really hard time with it right stop trying and just allow it to happen because it is that you know it is you are where you're meant to be there is something around a changing of the guard which often I pick up when I'm connecting with spirit guides and sometimes we'll have a new guide come in so you're having almost like that's what what they're showing me around you is we've got this guide stepping in and it feels a bit like you've lost what you had before but know that it's just that you, you're taking mm -hmm. it to the next level all right so there's there will be some um when this happens for me or has happened you feel a bit like oh i've lost that i've lost that gift why is it not working the same and then i need to consolidate go back to a bit, bit of extra meditation reconnect again with your guide and get you know, like it's almost like we're going to lift our vibration a little bit as well. And you'll be amazed yeah. at what comes through. It's like, woohoo, I'm ready to go. 
<laughs> so mm-hmm. you, you it's it's like for you there's a lot of um there's a lot of steps in place and I want to go to the next six months where you're going to be accessing tools and and almost um it's almost like what she's showing me it's connecting with others that will help propel you to where you need to be so others will help you identify your gifts and strengths and push you to to be the best at it that you can because I feel like you're great but you just tend to be a little bit it doesn't sit 100% with you yet so I need to be more social and talk to more people and stuff like that yes definitely and and I want to say for you for you, and it's like what, what this lady's showing me is if you look at your past, when you've done the best is when you've been thrown into something and you've had to fly. So, you know, like I'm taking on a job that I've got no idea about and I just jump in and then I worry about it, but the worry was unnecessary because I've been able to do it. And she's telling me you've done this before. So don't, you know, remember that. I do it all the time. You're right. <laughs> so, yeah, she's like, she can do this like you know um there's nothing to it so it really is i have a feeling like it's you're my grandma to... yeah yep. um let me it see is, what right? else she's showing me yeah she's tough she's strong like she's made of yes, <laughs> i want to say she like is. she could yeah she could make five dollars or, or or you know go a long long way it's like she was very resourceful and you have that within you as well so it's like she's stepping in at this time to help you get where you need to be. And, of course, she would be stepping in because you two had that bond. And I feel like she's showing me something about when you were younger, she was the one that was your number one cheerleader or supporter. She was, yeah. Yeah, so she is now. So, again, connect in with her and say, give me the signs. Where, what, what, is, what needs to come? Where do I need to be? You definitely need to get out there more, though. We can't, it's almost like we can't keep doing the same things and expect a different result. And for you, I need to get out and meet other people and align with others that are doing similar to what my gifts are. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, so so don't hesitate with that. It's standing in your power. There's something around a um, transformation around you I want to say like it's like she's showing me I'm transforming so I feel like even physically I don't know whether you've you've thought about changes or you've made changes I feel like from where I was a few months back or even six months ago I've changed so much and I feel like I'm looking at a physical change definitely I I did I cut my hair I dyed my hair I am ready for change yeah, so it's like she's, you know, you've done all the, you've done all the preparation, and that's what I feel like she's showing me. She's like, she's ready, and that's why she was like, and she came in strong, like, woof. I felt like I was getting a pull push from the back to say to you, right, get Aww. out there, you've got this. <laughs> <laughs> she's a, she's a gorgeous soul, and there's something around connecting to the moon energy for you too that she's showing me. So I feel like uh, getting outside of a nighttime and connecting with the stars and and that energy of the moon is powerful for you. That's weird because I've been waking up a lot in the middle of the night just to go outside and look at the moon. <laughs> so there you go. And, and that's her showing you that she's around, she sees that. So uh, I love it when they share a message like that just to confirm, you know, but it's, the, the moon is really relevant so you're you're obviously tuning in yourself on that so that's i love that that's so cool um there's something around opening of your heart as well so it's like she's showing me something time to open up your heart a bit to open my heart she's saying yeah yeah i've been trying yeah it's like I don't, I don't know just exactly like, what event you mean. It's almost like I feel like the, the, you've been a little bit like you're a heart-centered person, but due to things that have happened in the past, I've shut that down a little bit and I just want to reopen it a little bit to bring in 
you know, it's almost like to encourage the yeses, to bring the opportunities in. I just want to be, I want to let go of past hurts and I want to step, you know, step further forward into that heart-centered energy. Oh, yes, I definitely do. Yeah, because it's like you stepping up, it's almost like what she's showing me, there's a series of the, this process is stepping into what you need to be, so really stepping up and pushing yourself. But, you know, it's like go past your comfort zone as you do well anyway, and then <laughs> that heart opening up of the heart is going to bring in even more connections for you. Oh, nice. Sorry, I didn't get that last bit that you said. I said, oh, that's nice. <laughs> cool. So, you know, sometimes I'm it just needs to like, let go I'm of it all. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You are. And we want to let go of it all to bring in new because there's some really great stuff coming for you. And I want you to be ready. Me too. Yeah. And, and you, are, you are ready, but it's like, let's... And I feel like I also want as a parting message for you to say, let go of the outcome. You know, well, I'm going to step up into this and I will trust and have faith in the direction that I'm shown to go in. And it's like your grandma's there. She's like, I'll help. Yeah. <laughs> she loves it. I, I feel like she was quite spiritual too in her own way. So that's why she connects she was, so much yeah. with you at this time. Yeah. So it's like, it, it's easy for her. She's pretty good at it. So she's, She's telling me, I've got this and you've got this. So between <laughs> the two of you, there'll be no stopping you. So please trust that. That's <laughs> your message and she is definitely around. I will. Thank you so much. Yeah. My pleasure. I'm going to have to wrap up because I'm out of time. But thank you so much, Shannon, for connecting. Thank and you so let, much. Let me know how you go. I can't wait to hear I about will. your journey. And thank I want you. to write a review on your page because I think you're amazing. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, uh, thank you. That's beautiful. I so appreciate that. It means the world to me. Thank you. Thanks, Shannon. You're the best. Okay. I better wrap up. Dave will give me the run up. Thank you so much for connecting. Love and blessings to you all coming at you from Sunday Creek here in Victoria. Love and light for a great week ahead. Thank you so much. Woohoo!